<clears throat> Alright guys, um, if you've looked for a tiny little charger for your coil gun pistol or something else like that online, you, you really can't find anything. I mean, the smallest thing out there is really the boost converter, and that still is really small and really, really inefficient. Um, being about 50% efficient at its best, really, um, it's not really that great. So what I did was I came along and I did this. I uh, built a tiny little ZVS capacitor charger out of really common components. Um, I took apart this uh, old monitor here um, for the flyback core. And um, inside were a couple of IRF 630A trans uh, MOSFETs and also the bunch of these little uh, tiny transformers. Uh, so I took one of these transformers apart and I rewound it with about 260 turns um, of 34 gauge wire and then I put uh, a 14 turn center tapped primary out of 26 gauge wire on there um, also an inductor I pulled out of there um, is it's right there um, it, a one microfarad capacitor uh, rated at 250 volts I actually bought that at Radio Shack so but uh, then your 12 volt centers your fast diodes um, your 10k resistors then um, I changed the resistor values here so I didn't have to use so I could use quarter watt resistors and those are 560 ohm resistors um, then we have two pull down diodes there which connect out to here one's connected to the diodes and the other one's connected to ground so you just short those out to basically stop the charger from charging um, we also have a 5 amp fuse here and four fast rectifiers which are just one and four nine three seven diodes it's all hooked up to my 2600 microfarad capacitor bank uh... this is rated at 300 volts so we're gonna charge it up to uh... 300 volts and uh... we're gonna see how well it works so um... now running off this 18 volt drill battery um... i'm getting approximately seven and a half watts of charging power so um... It should charge in 16 seconds or less. And uh, here we go. Three, two, one. Alright, there we go. Um, now, I'll warn you that the MOSFETs do get really warm. Um, so you might want to put a little tiny heat sink on there. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, because of the fact that these have almost 400 ohms, or milli ohms, of on resistance. So they get warm fairly quickly, but they do cool down fairly, fairly quickly too. Um, now, that's pretty much the only thing that gets warm really um everything else stays really nice and cool um so um and a 5 amp fuse seems to do it so I got a tiny little bleeder resistor on there and it does a very shitty job um but anyways um now you're probably gonna expect less probably about 5 watts from like a 12 volt battery which you'd probably want to use um so and getting 12 volts you'd probably be able to get about 500 volts off this thing so, um, cause right now you can get 600 volts off of it using the 18, it's like 680, but, you know, 600 volts or so, probably, um, cause going anywhere past like, like, like 300 here is pretty much just ridiculous. Um, so it's good for like a 330 volt, uh, you know, guns that are used, just using flash caps or whatever. Um, now, What's really surprising is it's really small, like it would fit in the palm of my hand, I'm not going to actually put it in there because there's parts on here that do have the live voltage on them and I'm, I'd get zapped, which hurts like a bitch. Um, but as you can see, it's really simple, um, almost no wires on the bottom, there's only a couple to run from the capacitor to the drains and then power, um, and then there's one that runs right there, the blue one, or the gray, the brown one that runs across the circuit there. It's just to connect the diodes, that black one's to connect the output there. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. I mean, that's really all there is to it, so. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.